Ken Bernstein is a principal city planner for the Los Angeles Department of City Planning, where he serves as manager of the city's Office of Historic Resources. He also directs LA's historic preservation policies, serves as lead staff member for the city's Cultural Heritage Commission, and has led the creation of a comprehensive LA Historic Preservation Program. Welcome, Ken Bernstein. We're so glad to have you on, Ken. Oh, thanks so much for having me here. Yeah, what was the first preservation project you worked on in the city of LA? Oh, well, you know, at the uh, Conservancy, we were involved in trying to preserve the oldest cathedral in the city, St. Viviana yes. Cathedral from 1876 that had been threatened and actually demolition had started uh, on that uh, soon before I joined the Conservancy and we led a successful fight to preserve that, have it adaptively reused as a event space uh, for the city and then really also working on much of the downtown revitalization, uh, the adaptive reuse, the conversion of historic buildings downtown to housing in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, generating thousands of new housing units in downtown. How does an, uh, a building get designated as, um, you know, not just historical, mm -hmm. but need to be preserved, and so we're going to, you know, move this way rather than tear it down? Well, our office is the professional staff for the city's Cultural Heritage Commission, which is the five-member mayoral appointed commission that makes recommendations to the city council on what does get designated oh. as a local landmark or what we call historic cultural monuments in the city. And we have now almost 1,300. Anyone can nominate a site as okay. a historic cultural monument. The mm -hmm. city council often sometimes initiates sites uh, for nomination. And the city council has the last word as well, again, based on our professional recommendations and the work of the Cultural Heritage Commission investigating those sites. You wrote a book. It's Preserving Los Angeles, How Historic Places Can Transform America's Cities. It's beautiful inside and out, and it's very well researched. Was this something that you had been working on for years, and or did you just finally say, you know what, I've got all this knowledge, let's put it in a book. It was more the <laughs> latter, uh, and, and the research really was more of an outgrowth of my work with the city, and really trying to showcase the work that collectively, and again, this wasn't about me, again, we have yeah. an incredible team at the Office of Historic Resources that has, has really done the work. I'm just providing some strategic guidance and direction, but really wanted to showcase the collective work that we've done in Los Angeles. And this, as the subtitle says, also talk more broadly about how historic preservation, historic places can be a positive force for change in, in cities. I often like to, uh, to cite another preservation, a gentleman named Tom Mays, who uh, is from the National Trust for Historic Preservation, who talks about the value of preservation as being about authenticity, continuity and community, that our historic buildings have this authenticity of beauty, a, a character that can't be replicated with new construction. They give us continuity, that connection between past, present, and future, kind of anchoring us, orienting us in, mm -hmm. in a world that can be increasingly disorienting. Yeah. Um, and then community. It's our historic buildings and our historic places that have this reservoir of goodwill built up over decades or hundreds of years in some cases, yeah. and that connect us to, to one another and help build community. So those are values that we get with our older and historic places that we just we can't replicate with new construction.